nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Command engine start. Two, one. <laughs> New Shepard has cleared the tower. Check out that shot from our drone. On her way to space. Lunar landing tech on board. Payloads inside. You can see at the top right of your screen there, New Shepard's gaining speed. That BE-3 engine is really doing its work. What a clean burn. First milestone here is Max Q. All right, looks like the rocket has gone through max Q. That's when the aerodynamic stresses are at their maximum on the vehicle. Next up, we're looking for Miko or main engine cutoff just before separation. Beautiful burn on that BE-3 engine. Coming up on a thousand miles per hour. A quick trip to space for New Shepard. Beautiful. All right, coming up on separation after Miko here, looking for that engine shut off. There we go, looks like BE-3 engine is shut off. Speed's decreasing now. All right, I think I see separation there. Yep, you can start to see the distinct craft in your screen. Right about now, those experiments are getting their clean micro G's. Three to four minutes of hang time, gathering some great data. And at this point, if you were flying with us, you'd be able to get out of your seat, float around the capsule, do a somersault, high five your friend, and look down at that beautiful earth below you. That booster is starting its descent back to earth, almost at apogee for the capsule. All right, Apogee. As long as that's over the Carmen line, if you are an astronaut on board, you are now, or you are now officially an astronaut, my friend. All right, now the booster's coming back down. Those sensors are really going to work as the booster makes its way back to the pad for that precise landing here in West Texas.
The rocket's soon reaching the atmospheric pierce point. This is when the rocket's returning from space and entering the atmosphere. And those control surfaces on the fins are starting to have air pressure against them for the first time on its descent. And the rocket will come back and land on the pad just two miles north from where it took off. You can see there on the right hand of your screen that booster is gaining a lot of speed. Control surfaces really doing their job keeping that vehicle stable. And that booster, you know, of course, is more aerodynamically shaped than the crew capsule, which is why it will win the race back to the ground and land a few minutes before the capsule, which is great for the astronauts. They get a little more uh, hang time up there. You can see those wedge fins keeping the rocket stable. Of course, earlier we talked about that, that the LIDAR sensors are right in, below those fins on the fin box. Soon here we'll see the air brakes deploy. This will slow the vehicle down significantly as it makes its way down. There we go. You can see the booster's speed is slowing down rapidly here as it gets closer to the pad. If you were down in Texas, you'd hear a sonic boom any second, almost knocks you off your feet. It's so exciting. All right, there go the drag brakes. Here we go. We're getting close. Now we're just waiting for that BE-3 engine to relight. There we go. All right, come on, New Shepard, let's go. Wow. Look at that stability. So stable. Touch. Oh my God. Down, New Shepard. Here incredible. we go. I, I love watching that moment like every <laughs> single time. I'm sorry if you can hear me pounding the desk uh, in my mic, but that oh, never man. gets old to watch that rocket. It almost looks no. fake every single time. It's, I'm like, Joel, that's not CGI, it is, is not it? Fake. It's not uh, fake. It amazes <sighs> me every single time I watch a booster uh, I mean, falling out of, the, out of the sky and descending like that with such controlled precision. It's, it's inspiring to watch. Such control. So, wow. In this case, almost like it was landing on the moon. Yeah, and it landed on your feather there, Joel, <laughs> right on the pad. Yeah, somehow it knows how to go back there every time. <laughs> All right, well, I hope those sensors got some good data today. You'll see in a minute the vehicle here will start to vent. And our recovery crews are wow. going to be out there soon to, to safe the vehicle. Seventh landing for this booster. What an awesome record. Amazing. Every launch, I think I speak for our whole team here at Blue Origin, that you feel like you're a little part of history, being a part of this era. Oh my goodness, here we go. Here's the capsule. Looks like the mains have deployed. They're unfurling. You can see the, the speed on the capsules decrease significantly with those mains out, 16 miles per hour. Now this part of your flight, if you're an astronaut, if you've listened to some of our previous videos, you'll notice that once those mains are out and you're just in a free fall, it's just almost silent. And it's this reflective, beautiful moment. And right before the capsule lands here, a retro thrust system will fire, creating a pillow of air. The capsule lands at about one to two miles per hour kicks up a little bit of dust. Look at those beautiful mountains. Wow, Joel, just a picture perfect launch so far. I love this. And you can see the speed stabilizes about 16 miles per hour That's and then right. we'll be at about one to two. Here we go, almost touchdown.
beautiful shot from our drone there. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, and touchdown of the capsule. Oh. All right. She made it back. Excellent. Woo! Wow, we got both our crafts back safely from space. This looks to have been just a fully nominal flight here, Joel. That's right. You see those parachutes gently falling to the ground. I'm about to fall out of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, look at that. And you can see, that's a great view because you can see how the that poof of air just disperses that dust around it, just a gentle, soft landing. I visited these capsules a couple times after launch and they look like they are just, they, they're barely disturbed. That's right. You know, it's just r sitting there right on top of that soft desert floor. Yep. Wow, well, congratulations to Team Blue today. Hopefully we've got some great data from our lunar sensor demo here on, on our booster, seventh flight for that vehicle. Hopefully all of our customers with their payloads inside the capsule are gonna get some great data as well. Sure, our recovery teams are on their way out. All right, and here's our unofficial stats from the exciting flight today. Crew capsule's apogee, awesome altitude, 351,200 feet. Max ascent velocity under that BE3 engine, 2,232 miles per hour, wow. Mission start time, 8.36, right on the nose. Great job, Team Blue. And mission time, 10 minutes and, or 10 minutes and 15 seconds. 